Hey, I just had a few conversations recently with a few programmers on the conference which I was attending and speaking at. And they told me that they think that it's so important now for modern developers, software developers, to be uh, educated properly in um, the entire technical stack we use in any particular application. What they mean is that if you are a front-end developer, then you need to understand how the back-end works and you need to understand how the database works and the other way around. If you work with the back end, then you need to know how the front end is designed, mostly in order to have an ability to design your back end better. If you know how the front end is getting the data and how the data is has to be prepared by the back end, then you will do it better if you understand how HTML works, for example, or JavaScript works. And it does make sense, to be honest. Even though I'm, you know, in general against these masters of all trade who know everything about everything and know so many technologies and they can program in Java and at the same time uh, in JavaScript. But I do believe that they are in general right, that the more educated you are, the more you understand uh, the entire uh, set of technologies which are being used in your project, the more useful you are for your, for your team. But I think there is a bigger point, a bigger problem in the industry. And I'm talking about um, the inability of uh, programmers in many cases, in most cases, which I face so frequently in our projects and in projects which I sometimes participate in, is the inability of developers to understand how um, different processes of the software development lifecycle work, starting from requirements collecting and gathering and uh, understanding and business analysis or system analysis and um, the architecture design, like drawing UML diagrams and communicating those diagrams with uh, different subsystems or systems which we interact with, and understanding how testing works or deployment, for example. Programmers, they know how to write code, but they don't understand how that code gets to production, how the code gets packaged, and what needs to be done in order to configure continuous integration, continuous delivery. And they don't know how testers do the testing work. They don't understand how testers are supposed to report bugs and how those bugs get into bug tracking systems and who is in charge of the bug tracking system. And they don't know how they we are supposed to document uh, the product. They don't care about that. They think that somebody else will do that. So programmers don't see all the existing layers of the SDLC, software development lifecycle. And that's a big problem, even bigger than inability to understand how front end works if you are the back end developer. Uh, why it's a problem? Why do I think so? Projects will become smaller and smaller, as I, as I told many times in previous videos. I think that the time of large projects where uh, one programmer is responsible for a small part of the, of the system and doesn't need to care about other parts for many years, the time of those monster projects is, uh, is in the past. In the future, we're going to have smaller, much smaller pieces of code, microservices, you can call them that way, or just smaller pieces of software. Libraries, frameworks, microservices, something which will be way smaller in size, and size of code. And because it will be smaller, it will require each developer to understand how that small piece of code starts from requirements and ends with user documentation. Everything, the entire life cycle should be visible to every developer and every developer should understand how it's, uh, how it's getting from the beginning till the end. And if you don't understand that and you join my project, for example, tomorrow, coming from some uh, large enterprise where you spent years doing just coding or just designing or just testing, then it will be difficult for me to use your skills and, and, and your potential to the full extent. And I won't have time to teach you because this is the knowledge, this is the, the information which you're supposed to get from, from school, from the university. But they don't teach that stuff in most schools. They teach you algorithms, they teach you uh, how to uh, actually write code and implement what, what you want to implement as a programmer. But that knowledge is, I think, sometimes more important than your ability to actually write code. And I think that the best way to study that is to study rational unified process. I know it's old. I know that many companies, young, new companies do not use it anymore, but it's a good knowledge. It's a good piece of knowledge, which if you study, if you learn how it's designed, if you learn all the terms and names, all the phases and processes which are defined in the in rational unified process, you will understand software development lifecycle way better. 
And you need to understand that. If you can, you can even get the certification for that like I did like 10 years ago. And that will help you a lot in your professional career. So try to study. If you find it helpful, leave the comment below. Let me know what you think about that. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.